What's going on guys, Living Gonzamas here, back with another Pogo video, and in today's video guys, we are talking about the next main event coming to the game, and that is the Solstice event. If you guys watched my video earlier, you would know that we did get information about the Team Rocket Takeover event that was taking place after the Solstice event started, and now we of course have details for the Summer Solstice event. So let's go ahead and get into it, and as to when this event will be starting, and and when it will be ending so it will be starting on friday june 16th at 10 a.m local time lasting until june 25th at 8 p.m local time now let's talk about the spawns featured for the event guys for the daytime of the event you will see spawns such as ladybug murkrow soul rock driftloon purloin sea waddle cottony pedalil and fomantis and yes Shiny Fomantis will be making its debut. So we're getting Shiny Pancham for the Team Rocket Takeover. Again, watch that video. I posted that earlier. And we're also getting Shiny Fomantis for the Summer Solstice event. So that is absolutely fire. Them dropping two new Shiny Pokemon in one big event. That's awesome. And also, Sui Sneasel will be spawning too. Now, in terms of the Night spawns, we have Pokemon such as Oddish, Spinarak, Mischievous, Lunatone, Sunky, Venipede, Fungus, Phantom, and Fomantis will still be spawning at the night time too, so a W that it will be spawning for all day during the event, and the Sneasel, Gen 2 Sneasel will be featured uh, for a rare spawn during the night time. Now, this is huge because a special legendary Pokemon is returning Cosmog is returning. Do remember, we had Cosmog a few seasons ago in the game. You could only catch one, and you could evolve it into, of course, either Solgaleo or Lunala. Now, you can get a second one for your account. No trade required. You can catch one for free via special research and evolve that one into the opposite evolution that you have already. So, I have Lunala on my account, so now I can go for a Solgaleo evolution during this upcoming event via the special research and if you wanted to get another one too if you're not satisfied with the IV of that first Cosmog you can pay five dollars to also get a paid research to catch another Cosmog for a better chance of getting an, a better IV on the Cosmog so you guys can of course either just go free to play for it or you could get two of them by paying five US dollars now let's talk about the event bonuses pretty decent bonus two times dust for catching Pokemon for nine days in a row I can't complain about that and Lunatone and Solrock will be spawning globally they will not be region locked during this time so awesome I love Lunatone and Solrock I love their shinies too so I'm pretty stoked for this event and uh, in terms of raid bosses both Sneasels are in one star raids with Rock Ruff and Fomantis, so another way to go after Fomantis Shiny. Three star raids, Knocked Owl, Espeon, Umbreon, Star Raptor. Three stars, pretty lame, not gonna lie, but the five star, Shiny Neo Lego. First time it can be Shiny, can't wait to raid that. Mega Raids, Mega Sceptile 2. Pokestop Research, Fomantis will be in there. It's only Fomantis, so another good way to go after the Shiny for Fomantis. And Collection Challenge, there will be one, and it will give you an encounter with Fomantis. So you might get lucky and get the Shiny that way after you get the co Collection Challenge completed during the event. So that summarizes the Summer Solstice event. Do remember, I made a video already about the Team Rocket Takeover, so make sure you guys check out that video as well to see what is featured in that. But again, that does summarize the Summer Solstice event, which again, I'm pretty excited for. Shiny Fomantis is a pretty good Shiny, so I hope I can get one during the event. So please guys, comment below thoughts about this event. What do you guys think? Again, we're getting Cosmog. You can get two of them if you pay five bucks. Uh, Shiny Fomantis, some pretty decent spawns featured, such as the Soul Rock, Lunatone, Murkrow, Cottony. A few other good ones are the Fungus and Venipede, in my opinion, as well. Also, Spinarak, too. So, honestly, pretty solid event. I can't really complain too much. So, again, comment your thoughts down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.